Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to our intercession course here at LaSalle, uh, Perspectives on Death, really Philosophy of Death, um, some of the philosophical problems uh, associated with the phenomenon of death. My name is Dan Tui. I'll be your online teacher. Um, and in this introductory video, I just want to talk a little bit about the course itself. What's really important is, you know, the subject matter of the course, why I've chosen the readings that I have, why I've grouped them into the four units, and the, the kind of things that I want you to be thinking about regarding uh, death and philosophy. Also, would like to go through some of the, uh, well, to a fairly thorough uh, idea of how we're using a Canvas site uh, to access texts, the videos, uh, the discussion board, uh, the different requirements for the course. So, of course, it all begins here on our website, the Canvas site, if you open it up. Uh, these are the modules. Uh, first thing you'll see is course schedule. If you click on that, just have an idea of what you need to do and when you need to do it. Uh, course begins today, December 15th, last till January 11th next year, and we have four units. Uh, your, your tasks for each unit are to participate in the discussion board, and I'll get into specifics about what I would like you to do there, and do the exam. As we see, Unit 1, where we're starting here, these are our three readings. Uh, here is the um, open date for the discussion board, which is today until the 19th. And here is the deadline for taking the first exam. Uh, I would really like to emphasize that you shouldn't rush these things, that uh, you really need to do some reading and thinking uh, first. Give yourself time to read the, do the readings. Uh, give yourself time to watch the videos. Give yourself some time. Uh, start participating on the discussion board. And I would really, uh, you know, the logic of the course is that you're going to take the exam after you've done all that. So um, there's no reason to take the exams. One, you know, the, the, the exams I think are open uh, now, uh, but I would not take them. I would not take that first exam for another few days. Uh, you have until the 20th. Uh, so I would, I would really, there's no reason to do it before that. I understand that, uh, you know, one of the advantages of a, an online course is that we can do things at our own pace. We're busy people. Um, but these are difficult texts. Um, you know, they're going to take time and discussion uh, and watching the videos and reading them over is really most of the work you're doing for this course. Uh, so don't rush it. Okay. Uh, so in any case, um, for each unit, you need to participate in the discussion board. And I will get into specifics about what that means. And you need to take the exam for each one of the units. And the, the deadlines are all set out here. You also have a final essay due for the course. Uh, I will discuss that in some detail with you. But that is due at the end of the course on the last day, January 11th. Uh, of course, everything is submitted through the Canvas site. Okay. Uh, let's talk about discussion board. Um, here's our syllabus. If you click on the main menu on syllabus, you'll see a syllabus. Uh, here is my contact information. Feel free to email me whenever you like, and please, uh, please email me directly at my LaSalle email. Don't try to contact me through the Canvas site. It just doesn't work very well for me. So um, please email me directly if you, if you would like uh, me to respond. And feel free to email me whenever you wish. And uh, feel free to call me, too. My cell phone number right here. Um, I have no problem with you calling me. Um, don't worry about that. You can call me whenever you like. Remember, it's up to me whether I'm going to pick up. So you're not, you're not really bothering me. Uh, so call me whenever you like. Just to reinforce, all the readings are on this Canvas site, so there's no book to buy. Uh, just make sure that we know how to access the readings. Um, you'll see that uh, the actual units are here uh, in, under modules. We have Unit 1 Reading 1, Unit 1 Reading 2, and Unit 1 Reading 3, uh, the discussion board, and uh, you have the exam to take. 
Um, so each the, the, so each unit has different number of readings, but they're they're meant to go together. Uh, unit one is Epicurus's letter to Monoikus, which you the reading is right here. Uh, it's quicker to download it. Uh, Canvas is kind of wonky, uh, but right here, this is how we access our readings. Just just click on them; they will be there. Um, and then for each reading, uh, there is a video or a set of videos. Just click on that and you will be eventually redirected to my YouTube site. So just make sure you can get into YouTube or you won't be able to watch the videos. If you hit, you know, open a new window, it takes you to the video or the playlist uh, on my YouTube site. And this is just me. Uh, oof, yeah. His letters. Uh, yeah. Right. So it's just me talking about the reading, um, doing what I would do in class. Uh, of course, uh, watching these videos are optional, but um, I would imagine you would want to know what your teacher is thinking about the um, uh, about the reading. So I, I hope that they're valuable. I enjoy making them, and I'm just sitting here at my kitchen table talking to you. These are all homemade. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just your your old teacher talking talking to you through his laptop. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, so unit one, and then we will move on to unit two, uh, etc. So um, you've got the, uh, the final essay due at the end of the course. You've got the four exams. Here are your requirements, and you've got discussion board participation. Okay, this is the way I want to work it. There are, uh, I, you know, I may have to clean up uh, the site. I've uh, actually got four different uh, Canvas sites to manage, so you'll have to be patient with me if I if I mess up. And, and please let me know if there's anything confusing or wrong on the site. If it contradicts anything I say here on the on the syllabus, I will try to rectify it. Uh, but the idea is this: um, uh, students should post separately about each reading in the unit for each unit discussion board. So you'll see there are four discussion boards, one for each unit, but that unit discussion board will uh, cover all the readings in the unit. Uh, so let's just say in this in the first unit, there are three readings. So you should have during the time the, the discussion board is open, you should uh, post something of your own thoughts uh, and really your own thoughts. Uh, I'm not going to give you a prompt. Uh, I just want your response. What did you think? Uh, what did you think of the reading? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Are you having trouble understanding some aspect of it? Would you, you know, maybe you could uh, solicit help from your fellow students or, or me. Um, if there's anything that I could supplement to my videos in terms of my own commentary and explanation of the reading, please let me know. So, uh, again, you should have three different distinct different posts, three different posts, one on each of the readings of the first unit. And in addition, you res should respond to a post of one other student for each reading in the unit as well. That should be a substantive post that is not just, you know, hey, that's a great post or I liked it or whatever. You should you should address what the person actually says. It doesn't have to be in any kind of like length, but you should address something specific that the person said. So um, for each unit discussion board, you should have a different post for each reading in the unit and a different response for each reading of the unit. So because there are three readings in unit one, that'll mean six distinct posts in unit one. If there are two readings in a unit, that would mean four, Just, which is, I think, the rest of the units each have two readings. So, so uh, uh, two different posts, one on each reading, your own thoughts, and then two different replies, uh, replying to at least one post from another student on each of the readings. If there's any, I hope I've explained that, but if there's any confusion about that, then just let me know. Okay. So, uh, you know, you, 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 once you, I see that somebody has already posted on at least one of the sites about Epicurus and that's fine. That's great. She had a very intelligent, thoughtful post. She'd obviously read Epicurus and was ready to participate in the discussion board. Please do not participate in the discussion board on a reading until you have done the reading. Okay. Really? I mean, you don't have to have mastered the reading, but you should have, you know, reading knowledge of it. You should have familiarity with it before you before you participate in the discussion board. Um, the final essay, just to let you know, uh, I will be supplementing my description of it, but the final essay 
is a four to five page uh, essay on any topic regarding death that you wish to, to write about. Okay. I will, again, I'll talk more about that, but I want to leave it totally open. You are taking a course in philosophy and death, perspectives on death, but it's basically philosophy and death. You need to write at the end of the, uh, to, to, to finish the course, you need to write at the end um, a, a philosophy essay on death. Has to be written by you, obviously, but some topic, some idea that you want to develop is of your own choosing uh, that you wish to write about. Again, about a four to five page essay. Four to five pages is between 1,000 and 1,250 words. Um, just to let you know that, right? Um, and if you want it to be longer, uh, that's great. It really shouldn't be any shorter than four pages, considering it's an essay that is really about your summing up or in somewhere or another emblematic of your whole experience in the course. Again, it has to be an original idea of your own, and I will be talking more about that, giving you more guidelines and directions. Uh, I just want to remind you, of course, we have a standard plagiarism and cheating uh, rule here. Um, plagiarism in the essay, uh, some sort of copying and pasting and not attributing to your sources, stuff like that will be evidence of, of plagiarism. Of course, I would, it would need to be something that I you know, had proof of. I would never... I hope, be precipitous. I don't expect it to happen. There's no reason for it to happen as long as you do the readings and, um, you know, uh, think about it, you're going to do fine. Um, so I think that's about it in terms of the, uh, the way that we'll go here. Just remember, we've got a sort of rhythm here. Um, that's why I put up this course schedule. So, you know, okay, we're going to start out uh, for a few days here till the 19th doing these first three readings. Uh, then we're going to, for about six days, we're going to do these second two and then another eight or nine days, which this is actually the hardest part of the course, unit three, um, open, that's why it's open the longest. And just get an idea of when we're doing each unit because you do have to participate in the discussion board during that time. There's no makeup discussion board posts. If you miss it, you shouldn't miss it, right? We're, we're taking, this is an accelerated course. And it's an online course, so, you know, you can carry your laptop, laptop just about anywhere, unless you're, you know, in a bunker somewhere or in space, you should be able to access the Internet. Uh, go to a Starbucks, because they're everywhere, like the plague. I mean, it's, you know, Starbucks is everywhere. And they have a Wi-Fi signal. Um, right. Okay, so if you have any questions about the... Uh, requirements for the course, uh, please, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to end the video now and do another separate video on the actual themes of the course because I'd actually like somebody to watch it. Okay, good. Uh, again, welcome to the course. It's, you know, it's, it's probably my favorite course to teach uh, despite the difficulty of the subject matter because it just gets us into areas that are really, really important and interesting. So welcome and I hope that you have a good experience with these readings.